Hi, welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at how you can make music like Hilda Goana Dottia. Hi, my name is Ewan Smith and welcome to Ewan Smith Music. I help you make your music masterpiece. And today we're going to be looking at a multi-award winning composer who composed the very heady and cerebral score for the film Joker. And I thought I would help show you how you could recreate some of the types of sounds that you could then use made by this award winning cellist. Now Hilda is a composer who is from a classically trained background. She plays cello as her main instrument and she has a wealth of experience of many, many other instruments as well. So when you're listening to the score for Joker which I've linked in the playlist below, you'll be able to hear all the tracks composed by her, you'll notice that there's quite a strong theme running through all of the tracks and that they all start with very low growling sonorous strings mainly found in basses, double basses and cellos but there are other elements as well, there are some electronic elements that creep in and there's also some unusual sounding instruments made by a new type of string instrument which I had never heard of before called a haldorophone and it looks a bit like a hybrid of a a cello and a kind of pseudo keyboard instrument but they can come in different forms. Obviously when you're using this it can be played fairly traditionally but then manipulated so it sounds a bit more raspy as it does in the score. So this is the kind of way that I think we should try and think about manipulating when we're coming to recreate a sound much like this. So let's head over to Logic Studio and see the examples that we've got. So here we are in Logic Studio and you can see I've got an example of some music which I have recreated. It uses the Spitfire audio labs sounds and the reason why I chose those was because there's some in that library of sounds that sound very similar to the score as I was watching the Joker film I thought oh I could quite see things like the lab scary strings for example being a really good way to bring out some of the, the background there's a super soltasto violin sound that we've used and lastly there's also a labs amplified cello quartet which uses a really really cool method of performing so if I just play a like, little example example of that now. So that was my interpretation of the Joker bathroom scene and what I have done is I have put an example of this on the top right hand side of the screen. Do click on that link because you'll be able to see my version of the bathroom scene along with that music and you can see how the two married together. It's a private video so as I say it's not going to be available to search for on my channel. I've done that purely because it is just for fun and I didn't want to breach any copyright issues. So let's have a look at some of the sounds that I've used to make this music. So we've got first of all the lab's super soltasto violin really lovely sound there and then we nab down to scary strings one of my favorites that they've got in labs i'm just using some faders to control the dynamics I really like how you can hear all the different dynamics in there, different harmonics, all the different nuances of the sound. Let's move on to the Amplified Cello Quartet, which I played a little bit already. And 
then do lots of different effects and layer those so those are really useful for building up some tension in the music as well which is hopefully what you heard in the example that I provided before. So next there's going to be the Lab Soft Piano. Pedal pads, sustained pianos. But have a listen, see what you think. Okay, so we've got then the water phone, which I absolutely love the sound of. Have a listen to this. So a water phone is a really interesting instrument. It's a kind of conical shaped instrument with metal bars going around the outside. You can bow and tap and make them sound really unusual, really raspy. And the sound is normally synonymous with that of horror. So you can kind of imagine the wealth of effects you can create with just that sound alone. Let's have a look at the last one then, which is an east-west pad. And it's called east-west affliction. I don't know if you can hear, as I'm playing, I'm using the fader. And you get this really cool little harmonic effect at the top. So I used that in this music as well. If you would like to find out more about sound libraries I have a playlist that I'll put on the top right hand side of the screen now. Do check those out because there's lots of inspiration to be garnered there and also some examples of music which I have made using these in terms of film scores and orchestral works as well so do have a look at those too and as ever if you would like to leave a comment on any aspect of the video that which I have done today do so. What kind of sounds do you use? Have you used these types of sounds in labs or any other sound libraries to write for particular genres of film and also if you've loved Hilder's music as I say I'm going to leave a playlist in the description below for you to enjoy the full score from Joker that will help support the composer's music making as well and as ever if you have liked this video please don't forget to like and subscribe hitting the bell notification so that you don't miss a beat and as ever I'm Ewan Smith thank you very much for watching this video I will see you in the next one bye for now The video on the top is one that I think you will love and the one on the bottom is one that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. If you would like to know more about how to make your music masterpiece then don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you in the next video next week. Bye bye.